If you nailed both of those trades, which were given, neither of them were stopped out, that's all the trading you would need to do for the entire month of July. Both of those trades were 5R plus. So let's assume that your risk, your R, right, is $1,000, okay? So what would your account size have to be for your risk to be $1,000? Well, if you're risking 1%, your account balance would be 100 grand, right? So 1% risk on a $100,000 account, right? Which is like a five Bitcoin portfolio at these prices would mean your risk is a thousand. Now let's say you want to risk 2%, then your account only has to be 50, okay? I know 50 grand is a lot of money. I'm not trying to say it's not, but I think $50,000 is very reasonable for someone who's been in crypto a while and is getting the hang of leverage trading. It's very reasonable, I think, to have a $50,000 account, but plug in whatever numbers you want to make it work. But let's assume you have a 50K account, you're risking 2% per trade. So your risk, your R is 1,000, okay? That means every trade you take your maximum risk is a thousand. Why is it so important to know this before you even get in a trade? Well, now if I enter a trade here and I'm long here, if I get stopped out on this wick, I'm not freaking out. I already knew when I entered the trade, the worst case scenario is I lose a thousand bucks. This is why risk management is so important because it allows you to have confidence in what you're doing. If you don't know what you have at risk, how can you be confident in getting in a trade if all of a sudden, let's assume that your stop is here and your R is 10K. Are you prepared to lose 20% of your account on getting stopped out? No. So if you ever get that feeling when you enter a trade and you're like freaking out, you're nervous, you're feeling anxious, you're probably risking too much. But if you know what you have to lose in advance, if you know that worst case scenario, I'm losing a thousand bucks, then I'm confident that if I put my money behind this trade, I already know the worst case scenario. So what is there to be scared of? You're going to help remove a lot of that fear of entering the trade by knowing what you have for the worst case scenario for this trade your risk right when someone says oh this trade is 5r that means that if your risk is a thousand if you're right you're gonna make five grand if you're wrong you're gonna lose a thousand this is not your position size this is your risk this is two percent times your account balance your position size is determined by knowing where your entry is and then how far from your entry is your stop right entry stop this percentage that's how you're going to determine your position size there's a calculation that you can do to do it or you can just use the built-in calculator on all the exchanges but the idea is you want to make sure that wherever your position size is that your risk only comes out to be a thousand on stop out so if price goes like this boom whatever that stop out is you want that to to be the risk that you predetermined okay so i think 50 grand account is not crazy unreasonable and i think two percent risk is not crazy unreasonable now let's assume that first long that we took entry was on the order block or the breaker right here there's your entry stop below the order block target was here that is a 5.3 r trade so on our math here, you take 5.3, you times that by a thousand, you get $5,330 profit. If you were stopped out, if this went down, you would have lost a thousand. So let's assume you got this trade. And then the second trade that we laid out, which was the short here, SFP, okay, you enter on the SFP close, stop at the SFP high, target was this order block right here. So your entry is right here, stop is here, target is this here. This is a 2.68 R trade. 2.68 times your thousand bucks equals 2680810. That's not a bad fucking haul for two trades in the last two weeks. So both of those trades played out high probability trades. Why? They ticked off all of the things on our checkbox. First long was at the range low. We had our OTE pullback from here to here. We're at the range low. We have the order block, the SFP. We want to look for a higher low. We have a clear objective. We know where our trade idea is wrong. All those things are ticked off. Boom, 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 boom. High probability trade. Boom. Nailed. Second trade, range high. SFP. We have the context. Bearish SFP at the range high trend is bearish clear target we know our risk again all the things ticked off second trade boom that's on a 50k account risking two percent in the first two weeks of july just taking two trades you literally had to take two trades you barely even had to look at your screen because i did it for you i posted every chart i laid out every setup live two trades you make eight grand in two weeks that's not crazy this is as simple as i can break it down and what i'm trying to show you is you don't need to take that many fucking trades i know people who are intraday they're in there all 
day. Boom, 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 boom. They're taking multiple trades a day. Go ahead. I've always wanted to scalp. It's just not me, but I hit both of these trades and my account balance is bigger than 50 grand. So even on a small account, which I'd consider 50K a relatively small account, risking 2%, meaning your risk, your R is 1,000 per trade. You could have made eight grand in two weeks on two trades with barely any time on the chart. This is all on the 12 hour chart. I didn't even zoom into the hourly. So what I'm trying to say here is it's possible to take less trades to make good money doing this if you have proper risk management and you're working on finding high probability setups. We've been on an absolute heater of heaters. And if you remember the video I did, I think two weeks ago where I went over the 50K account balance, you know, risking 2% per trade with all the trades we had taken up to that point, we had taken four trades trades or something like that. You know, you could have netted, you know, some serious cash for the month of July. So, so far, let's assume 2% risk on a 50K account and you're winning five out of six trades. Each trade was a minimum of three to one risk reward. That's pretty good fucking money that you're making on a 50K account. You guys can do the math. I did that video, I think two streams ago, where I went through the breakdown of what each trade would have paid out based on the risk reward, risking 2%, right? Which would be $1,000, right? $1,000, right? Would be your risk. So if you're winning 3,000 bucks on five trades, that's 15 grand grand you lose one trade at a thousand r minus 1k all of a sudden you've had yourself a fourteen thousand dollar month on a 50k account that's pretty fucking good and that's a very attainable account balance right that's very attainable and that's proper risk management two percent risk per trade each trade calculated so hopefully you guys are crushing it man i really think everyone has been doing well based on just the dms and the interactions i've been getting lately on twitter and that makes me really happy